This is BYU Baseball. Now back to the ballpark and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Discount Tire presents On the Rubber. A look at both teams' pitching numbers through six innings. We are to the top of the seventh. San Diego pitching through six. They've used three pitchers for those six innings. Thirteen hits, producing ten runs. Six of them earned. Two bases on balls, two strikeouts, two wild pitches. 123 pitches thrown by San Diego through six. BYU, Jack Sterner went the entire first six-inning stint. Scattered seven hits, three runs all earned, two wild Two strikeouts, a wild pitch and a hit batsman. 81 pitches for Sterner, and he is out. Aiden Callahan, the new pitcher. That was Discount Tires on the rubber, brought to you by Discount Tire. Let's get you taken care of. Aiden Callahan facing Dustin Allen to lead off the San Diego 7th. So it's a PZ Printing pitching change for BYU, brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print, PZ Printing. And the first pitch from Callahan is called strike to Allen, 0-1. One and one. Callahan making his fifth appearance. He's pitched exactly five innings. One hit, two runs. Both earned. He struck out five, walked two. The 1-1. One, one. That's grounded to second. Pratt handles. Throws to first and one gone here in the top of the seventh inning. BYU 10 and San Diego 3 is our score as Dustin Allen is retired on the 4-3 ground out. Allen tonight, one for three. A single. He was caught stealing third in the second. And a fly out and a ground out taking us to the top of the order. San Diego's Chase Mydroth will hit with one out and no one on in the top of the seventh inning. BYU by seven. BYU trailed 2 nothing, And has scored 10 of the next 11 runs in this game as Aiden Callahan gets ahead 0-1 in the called strike. Mydroth, 0 for 3 tonight. A fly out to, uh, to right, reaching the fielder's choice. And a fly out to right in his three plate appearances. No balls and two strikes as he fouls that down the third baseline. The 0-2. That's grounded to Watkins, backhands it, sets, guns, two gone. A 4-3 ground out followed by a 6-3 ground out, and two are out for BYU. The Cougs just had to get through those first couple three innings because uh, Jack St- uh, Sterner settled in nicely, and now Aiden Callahan has picked up the torch and gets the first two batters he faces. And it was troublesome, the first couple, three innings for BYU. Yet, San Diego missed multiple opportunities to really add to their tally with some mistakes on the base pass and otherwise. And the lead never really got too high. But it could have been more than the three runs scored by San Diego through three. Certainly their two inning first could have been more productive. The 1-0. Now 1-1 and with a foul to the screen. Sterner at one point. Retired seven straight. A walk, then a double play. And since then, three more batters retired in order. So not a lot of trouble on the base pass for BYU since the Toreros scored their third run. That's high for ball two from Callahan. Two and one, two gone. No one on. We're top seven. Angelo Peraza. Takes ball three. So the right fielder Peraza walked and scored in the first, struck out in the second, grounded out 1-3 in the fourth. He hits now in the seventh. His team's down by seven. And that'll be a single through the right side, a 3-4 single on the ground to right field, and Peraza reaches with a two-out single. His first hit of the night, and Kevin Sim will hit. San Diego, a team averaging 6.4 runs per game. A little little under half that right now with three innings left to play. They're down to their final seven outs. Peraza reaching on the two-out single to right. Kevin Sim will now hit. Sim with a double and a run scored in the first, a single and a run scored in the third, and a swing and a miss for... Sim here in the seventh. He flew out to right in the fifth for his two for three night. Kevin Sim hitting 333, 360 with runners on. BYU in the seventh inning with the lead. 
And BYU so far this year, 16-1 and one when they take a lead to the seventh. We're top seven of a 10-3 ball game. That's change up high, stayed high at one and one. Aiden Callahan, the second pitcher for BYU tonight. Right-hander on the hill. Replaced Jack Sterner, who went six full innings. That's low and away for ball two. Aiden will give you a fastball. Upper 80s, low 90s. That was a fastball outside at 91. 90 miles per hour. Throws a cutter in the low to mid 80s. A change in the high 70s and a curve in the mid 70s. Two balls and a strike, two out, one on. And that's an excuse me foul ball. Dribbling to the San Diego dugout on deck circle area. So two and two. That was again a 90 mile per hour heater from Callahan. Aiden's got Kevin Sim. And a 2 2 count with two out and a runner on first and Angelo Peraza. Aiden winds up and delivers. High fastball. Lifted in the air to right. And will be just fouled by a yard or two down the first baseline. Jack Sterner went six complete. His long outing seven on the year. Again, Jack threw 81 pitches, shy of his season high of 94. Aiden Callahan in the mid-teens of pitch count. In his first inning of work, the 2-2, two out, one on to Kevin Sim. And that's low and away, taken for ball three. Cutter missing outside by Callahan. Runner on first is Peraza with a two-out single. San Diego's eighth hit. And that's drilled to left, but foul. It'll be into the pines and beyond, but it's a long foul, a long strike, three and two. Fastball drilled by Sim. Fills the count. San Diego with three game, or BYU with three games in hand in the conference standings. BYU's played 12, San Diego's played 15 conference games. Both teams have six losses. San Diego has nine wins, and that's a backwards K. The take by Simmons on the outside end is a paint job by Callahan, and the punch out. The backwards K ends the seventh. We go bottom seven. Time for the seventh inning stretch. Brought to you by Mountain America, official credit union of BYU Athletics for San Diego in the top of the seventh. No runs on a hit, no errors, a runner left on. We go bottom seven. Cougs lead by seven, 10-3 on the new skin BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball. Now back to the ballpark and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU 10, San Diego 3 in the bottom of the seventh. The Cougars' last two runs scoring on a two-run home run by Colin Reuter in the fifth. It was a Zions Bank home run. The first one and the only one of the night for BYU. Brought to you by Zions Bank for banking that helps you game plan for life. Zions Bank is for you. That Zions Bank home run making it a 10-3 game. And 10-3 is where we stand heading to the bottom of the seventh inning. Ryan Sapiti will lead off the BYU seventh. Sapiti with a single and a run scored in the second. A pop-up in the third. And a fly out to center in the fifth. He'll face a new pitcher, Morgan Lunsford. It's a San Diego pitching change. The Toreros into their fourth pitcher of the night. The right-hander on the hill, Lunsford, kicks and fires and gets Sapiti to swing and miss at the first pitch he sees from Lunsford. A 5'10", 185-pound freshman from Edmond, Oklahoma. Cougs have used two pitchers. San Diego four tonight. The 0-1 to Sapiti. We're bottom seven. BYU leads by seven. Jersey number 27. Ryan Sapiti takes inside for ball one. Sapiti did not play in the San Diego series last year. And neither did the hitter ahead of him, Austin Deming. And both those guys have figured prominently tonight. And that'll be in the dirt for ball two. At 81 miles per hour. Right, right. 
The 2-1. That's opposite field by Sapiti, and that will get down in the right field corner. Sapiti digs hard for two, will hold with a stand-up double. And for Ryan Sapiti, his second hit of the night, and a leadoff double for BYU in the bottom of the seventh. Bring up Josh Cowden. Josh Cowden. So Ryan Sapiti with a two for four night so far. Cowden has had a good night. Has scored two runs on a two for two night along with a base on balls. Josh with runners in scoring position. Down at 125. Time to boost that number. Lead off double for Sapiti. And that'll be grounded sharply to second. Just one place to go. That'll be first base. Sapiti will advance on the ground out. So Sap- uh, Cowden is retired 4-3. And on the 4-3 ground out, Sapiti is now at third with one out. So that brings us back to BYU's outstanding number tonight. Five for five are the Cougars tonight with runners on third and less than one out. And here comes... Colin Reuter, whose last at-bat resulted in a two-run home run to left, making the score 10-3. And that's where we stand now, bottom seven. Ryan Sapiti on third. And that's fouled out of play. First pitch he sees. Colin gives it a rip, but back over the roof. So leadoff double for Sapiti. A 4-3 ground out, advancing Sapiti to third, bringing up Reuter with Sapiti on third, one out. And the 0-1 count. Ruder, one for one for one tonight officially with two runs scored. The 0-1, and that's a mighty swing and misses it for 0-2. And, and that was off speed from Lunsford. Out ahead of it was Ruder, so no balls and two strikes. And we'll see if Ruder sees a chase pitch or not here at the 0-2. One out, one on. Lunsford kicks and fires, and that's hit sharply to center, and it will be caught on the fly. Tagging and coming home is Sapiti, and he will score the 11th run of the night for BYU. And so on the sack fly, and that bat is encountered, keeping BYU at 5 for 5. With runners on third and less than two out. Sack fly scores Sapiti, and Colin Reuter has his fourth RBI of the night and his second sack fly of the evening. So Ryan Sapiti scores run number 11, 11 to 3, the score. And Colin Reuter's night is officially one for one with two runs and four RBI. Two RBI coming on sack flies and a two-run home run. So only one official at bat for Colin Reuter. And it was the one that he uh, sent a ball over the left field wall. The 0-2 count, by the way, to Dawson Hall here at the nine hole with two out and no one on here in the bottom of the seventh. BYU's up 11-3. to Grounder to second. Second baseman Mydroth gathers and fires, and that'll be it for BYU. But the Cougs in the bottom of the seventh score one run on one hit. There were no errors and no one left on. We go to the top of the eighth, BYU 11, San Diego 3 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball. Now back to the ballpark and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Top of the eighth here in Provo, Caleb Ricketts will lead off for the San Diego Toreros, who trail BYU by eight now, 11 to three. The last three runs batted in, all from Colin Reuter tonight. And that's a taken strike as Aiden Callahan stays on the hill, works into his second inning of work. USD down to its last six outs. Count evens a one and one, high and away. One-one from Aiden. 
Oh, that's solid contact. Barrel to right. Sapiti's going to go back and to the track and watch it go over the wall. That's a solo shot for Caleb Ricketts. His third hit of the night. He's three for four, and that's a big fly to right, making it a seven-run game. 11 to four is our score. As the Toreros looking to stay alive in this one, Caleb Ricketts parks it over the right field wall. His 14th multi-hit game, by the way. He's reached in 17 straight. And with already two hits on his resume tonight, two singles, that's a bomb to right. Solo shot 11 to 4 is our score. Aiden Callahan. Gives up the homer, and Jack Costello now hits with the bases clear. BYU 11 runs on 14 hits. San Diego four runs on nine hits. And that's solid contact to center. Mitch McIntyre gets a good jump and hauls it in. The long out from Costello. One gone. For Caleb Ricketts. And his home run number seven. He is second to Kevin Sim in Dingers. Sim with 10. And now Ricketts seventh. Two RBI tonight. 27 on the year. That'll be second on the BYU roster. And that's an opposite field hit through the left side by R.J. Tejero. His second hit of the night. As he is now two for three. And it's a one-out single to left through the 5-6 hole. So with Tejero on first, Cody Jeffries will hit. The seven hitter and back-to-back -back lefty bats for Brock Ungrich. Jeffries, a 4-6-3 double play in the first. That was a huge double play, by the way, when it came. Because the Toreros had something going there in the first inning before the 4-6-3 DP. Then he reached on a fielder's choice in the third. And a 4-6-3 DP again for him in the sixth. And so those are, those are the two double plays turned by BYU, which comes in two tonight. Tenth nationally in double plays turned per game. And tonight, both DPs hit into by Cody Jeffries. Jeffries is now grounded into four double plays on the year, but he doubled his total from the year in just this night. So 0 for 3 is Jeffries. A man on first, a brief conference on the mound between Reuter and Callahan. The righty's ready to go again. So leadoff home run, solo shot to right. Single to left with a fly out in between. So it's one out, one on. And Jeffries hitting lefty against the righty Callahan. And Callahan pipes it in high and hot at 90 miles per hour for ball one. BYU with the lead into the eighth inning. And the Cougs are 16-1 when taking a lead into the eighth inning this year. San Diego 2-8 when trailing into the eighth. The 1-0 from Callahan. Breaking ball stays high for ball two. Aiden Callahan, BYU's second pitcher used so far tonight. Cy Nielsen, the left-hander, continues to warm in the BYU bullpen. The next batter due up is a righty, Ariel Armas. We'll see what Callahan does with Jeffries, who now takes for two and one. Two balls and a strike to Jeffries. And that fastball at 91 stays high for three balls and a strike. Aiden Callahan is through one and a third tonight. He's got a runner on first. One out and a seven-run lead he's working with. And that'll be a walk. Oh, no, it's a, it's a late strike call. I, gotta, I just have to get used to the fact that Jacob Asher will wait before making that call. And it's a take inside for strike two. Three balls and two strikes. He was on the inside edge and low and could have been called the ball, but there came that delayed call from Asher. So three and two from Callahan. Kicks and fires, and that's outside. There's the walk. So it's two on and one out for San Diego as they look to chip away down seven here in the eighth. Jeffries aboard with a walk. It'll push Tejero to second. 
Everybody clap your hands. And Ariel Armas due to hit, but Trent Pratt may not let Callahan be the one to face him. That'll be it. So Trent Pratt asks for the ball, and they'll make the call to the BYU bullpen. And with the righty due up, we're likely to see the lefty, Cy Nielsen. We will. After this PZ Printing pitching change brought to you by PZ Printing. PZ Printing, nothing inspires like print. New pitcher for the Cougars in 60 seconds on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Well, coming in two tonight, Cy Nielsen was tied for the BYU lead in appearances with Reed McLaughlin. Both had made 17 on the season. Cy Nielsen is about to edge in front of Reed, making his 18th appearance of the season. The left-hander, Cy Nielsen, enters. He's pitched 18 and a third on the year. In those 18 and a third, he's given up 13 hits, nine runs, eight of them earned. And his strikeout-to-walk ratio nearly 4-1. to one, 22 strikeouts and only four free passes issued. Four wild pitches on size portfolio for the season. A 3.93 ERA and a 2-0 record. And this is Southpaw on the hill for the first time tonight for BYU. Right-hander due up in Ariel Armas. And will they stay with Armas? They will. So Armas comes into a runner in scoring position situation. Tajero on second. Jeffries on first and already a run across with a solo home run by Ricketts to lead off the inning. We're in the top of the eighth inning. BYU 11, San Diego 4 is our score. BYU 11 runs on 14 hits, an error committed. And San Diego 4 runs on 10 hits, two fielding miscues. Sine Nielsen will face Ariel Armas for the first time. Armas reaching on an E5 in the second. And then a pair of 1-3 ground outs in his last two at-bats called strike by Cy at 92. So Cy Nielsen, the new pitcher for the Cougs. And he gets quickly ahead 0-1. Checks his runner at second. Runners on first and second. And a number, will it be Nielsen to second for one with Watkins? Yes, and over to first for two. That'll be a 1-6-3 DP. And Cy Nielsen comes in and gets out of the inning by facing only a single batter and starts the defensive play. The grounder back to Cy. And he goes 1-6-3. Nielsen to Watkins to Wilk. We go bottom eight. The Cougs keep a seven-run lead now. 11-4 is our score. San Diego in the top of the eighth. One run on two hits. There were no errors. There were, was, were one runner left on. BYU a seven-run lead to the bottom of the eighth next on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball. Now back to the ballpark and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. New pitcher for San Diego, the right-hander, number 44, Jack Dolak. At the bottom of the eighth here, Dolak. 6'4", 220, the junior from right there in San Diego. BYU leads it by a score of 11-4. to San Diego was looking to chip away there in the eighth. They got a leadoff home run. And then it was first and second, one out, and Ariel Armas... Grounded out to the pitcher for a third consecutive at-bat. He went 1-3 ground out in the third, 1-3 ground out in the sixth, and a 1-6-3 DP ground out in the eighth. That's rough. Due up for San Diego in the ninth, the 9-1 and 2 hitters. BYU leads off the bottom of the eighth with its 1-2 and 3 hitters. Ozzy Pratt leads off for the Cougs. We're bottom eight here at Miller Park. 11-4. Cougs on top. Dolak kicks and fires. That'll be a called strike. Top of the zone at 87 by Dolak. The 0-1. The rangy righty winds up. Slider fouled. Back to the screen. No 0-2 to Pratt. Ozzy tonight. is one for four with a couple of RBI. A two RBI single in the second. Outside edge and he laid off. Good take for one and two. That was a 90 mile per hour heater trying to paint the black on the high upper corner and just missed it. 
Good pitch. One, two. And foul to the screen. Brock Watkins on deck, wincing as that came very near him. <laughs> Warming up in the on-deck circle. That was sliced to the screen very close to Watkins. Count stays one and two. That was an 88-mile-per-hour heater by Dolak. The one-two. We're bottom eight. BYU's up seven. Net gets away. Breaking ball didn't break. Just floated to the outside. High and away. Two balls, two strikes. BYU will take a lead into the ninth inning. That's fouled to the screen by Pratt. Uh, score stays two and two. And BYU in leading through eight. And BYU will be leading through eight. The Cougs are 17 and one when leading through eight innings this year. Their only loss came in that walk off at St. Mary's a few weeks back. Check swing by Ozzie. And yes, he went. So. A strikeout for Pratt and one out for Brock Watkins here in the bottom of the eighth. So a frontwards K for Pratt. This is the only WCC game going on tonight. Of course, when you get BYU, you get Thursday, Friday, Saturday series. Rest of the league will start their weekend sets tomorrow. All five series and all ten teams will on the diamond tomorrow. Brock Watkins lifts it to center field, drifting back and back and near the track and making the catch is Dustin Allen, the center fielder. And the wind isn't as heavy as it was at the start of the night, and it's more left center than it was left field earlier. And drifting back was Allen to make the catch. Watkins flies out to center. Brock a 2-4-5 night tonight. Mitch McIntyre now hits. He's on a 1-4 for four performance. A ground out, a single and scored in the third, a line out and a fly out. And two out for Mitch McIntyre, bottom eight. That's low around the shins for ball one from Jack Dolak, the fifth pitcher used by San Diego tonight. BYU's used three, the third of three. Sy Nielsen had to face just one batter in the eighth and got him to the ground into a 1-6-3 DP. So for BYU, Jack Sterner went six complete. Alan K Aiden Callahan won in the third. And Cy Nielsen actually faced two batters. Two-thirds of an inning for Cy. The 1-1, one -one, a swing and a miss from McIntyre. One ball, two strikes. Well, no, I was, I was right. Cy just did face the one. It was just Armas. But he got two outs on the play, so it was recorded as two-thirds of an inning for Cy. The one-two. And that's low for ball two. Two balls, two strikes, two out, no one on. Base is clear for Mitch McIntyre here in the bottom of the eighth inning. First of three between BYU and San Diego. Crucial series for the Cougs. They look at the put themselves in firm tournament position and ideally in position to get a bye by the end of the season. The 2-2, and that's fisted foul down the third baseline on the ground. San Diego is tied for second with LMU tonight. With a loss, San Diego would drop a half game back of LMU into third. BYU solo six, but again, the Cougs have played three fewer games than most of the rest of the league. Gonzaga 11-4, San Diego LMU 9-6. The top two teams get buys in Stockton, and that'll be ball three. Low, the count fills. Three balls, two strikes, two out, and no one on here in the bottom of the eighth. BYU nursing, I say nursing, they've got a commanding seven-run lead, 11-4. to four. 11 runs on 14 hits. San Diego, four runs on 10 hits. The 3-2. And Mitch takes ball four. The judicious eye of Mitch McIntyre at work, and he reaches for a second time tonight. He's BYU's on-base percentage leader, and he's reached twice in five plate appearances. Right around or in the neighborhood of his on-base percentage of 420. So a two-out walk for Mitch. It'll bring up Jacob Wilk. And Jacob, a two-for-four night with a couple of runs scored. Jacob with hits in seven of his last ten games. BYU's slugging percentage, pace setter. Two-out, one on for Jacob. Righty v. Righty here. And that's a wild pitch that gets away. From Armis and advancing to second will be Mitch McIntyre, putting a runner in scoring position now for Jacob Wilk.
Jacob taps the plate and awaits the 1-0 offering from Jack Dolak. BYU 11, San Diego 4. I go back to last season and the high-scoring nature of those games at Fowler Park. Again, to restate, BYU won those three games by 6-4 in 10 innings, 11-10, and then losing 13-12 in the final of three games. A ton of runs scored, 56 runs scored between the two teams over the three games. BYU scored 29, USD scored 27, the 2-0. And that's piped in for strike one. Two and one to Jacob Wilk. Runner on second is Mitch McIntyre. He walked and advanced on a wild pitch here in the bottom of the eighth. Cook's looking to close this one out. And take the series lead in the first of three. Jacob Wilk has a 2-1 count. Waggles the bat over his right shoulder. The kick and fire from Dolak, and that's in the dirt for ball three. Three balls and a strike. Looking to the BYU pen right now. Nate Daly is stretching, and so too Reed McLaughlin, but they may just give the ball to Cy and say, uh, keep going. He only had to face one batter in the eighth and got him on a 1-6-3 DP. We'll see if Cy comes out in the ninth. Dolak gets a strike call on a 3-1 delivery. That was outside edge. Good framing there by Armas. Maybe even low, but well framed at 89 miles per hour. The count's filled, three and two. Two out, and the man on second is McIntyre. Jacob Wilk steps forward and is punched out on the backwards K. Stepped into it and then pulled back, and that was it for Jacob. A backwards K, second strikeout of the inning for San Diego pitching. We go to the ninth for BYU in the eighth. It was no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. It is BYU 11, San Diego 4. The Toreros down to their final three outs next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Cy Nielsen will stay on the hill into the ninth inning for BYU, which leads San Diego by a score of 11-4. to Will Worthington pinch hitting in place of Dustin Allen. So it would have been lefty-lefty. It's now a right-handed bat of Will Worthington facing Cy Nielsen, who pipes in strike one. The 0-1 from Cy to Worthington. Out of the nine hole, by the way, that's one and one. Last year in San Diego, Worthington was two for nine, highlighted by a two-run home run. He comes in as a pinch hitter tonight. In a game, the Cougs lead by seven. What a statement by BYU to start this series so far here against San Diego. And that's a swing and a miss by Worthington. Cy Nielsen warming up. Temperature right now, 68 degrees. And officially on my weather app, dust. 68 and dusty. The wind is as calm as it's been in a couple of hours, and that's a swing and strike out on the 1-2 count. Cy Nielsen goes to the ca- gas can at 93. And waving is Dustin Allen. One gone here in the top of the ninth. San Diego down to its final two outs. So the Cougar pitchers in the pen may just be throwing for cardio tonight because Cy Nielsen is two outs away from sealing the deal for BYU. Top of the order, Chase Mydruth. Strike one called by home plate umpire Jacob Asher. That was 93 miles per hour on the heater from the southpaw, Cy Nielsen. Out of Spanish Fork, Utah, Spanish Fork High School, he'll step off. So I had a really good summer in Cape Cod League and slow start to this season, but he's uh, rounding into form. And the home plate umpire has got something to do. Is he dealing with Jacob Wilk there at first? A little bit of communication there. Home plate umpire will step back behind the dish and Cy will deliver the 0-1 to Chase Mydroth. And that'll be a grounder foul down the first baseline. Just foul. So Cy can go to his uh, bevy of options here with 0-2 the count. (laughs) 
Sign Nielsen, the first lefty used tonight. Well, top is fastball out at around 95. Slider in the mid-80s and a change in the high 70s, low 80s. Three-pitch mix from Nielsen. The 0-2 from Sy. And that's grounded fair down the first baseline. That'll roll into the right field corner, and Chase Mydroth will have a stand-up double with one out here in the top of the ninth. So Nielsen gives up his first hit. And Chase Mydroth with a stand-up double. Hit number 11 on the night for San Diego. But off those 11 hits, just four runs. I'm reminded of the game at Dixie a few weeks back. I think BYU had 13 hits for five runs that night. Tonight, 14 hits equal 11 runs. That's baseball. 11-4 the score. BYU with the lead. Top nine, one out, one on. The man on second is Mydroth. His first hit of the night. That's ball one, two. Angelo Peraza. Peraza walked and scored in the first, struck out in the second, ground out in the fourth, and singled and was stranded in the seventh. Cougs a seven-run lead in the ninth. Runner on second is Mydroth. That's high and away. Well, two balls, no strikes. Nielsen's got to get back in the count here. And yes, there are BYU pitchers warming. Jake Porter, the right-hander, is up. Nate Daly jogging it out in the pen. The 2-0 forthcoming from Nielsen to Peraza. And that's in tight for ball three. So Sai's got a 3-0 count with one out and one on here in the top of the ninth. BYU plenty of runway here with a seven-run lead. Cougs out hitting San Diego by three, 14-11. BYU went out hitting. The opponent has a 10-4 record this season. Three balls, no strikes. Peraza likely on the take here. And takes for a four-pitch walk. Work to be done here. Puts the double play into play. So Mydroth on second and Peraza with a base on balls. Kevin Sim, the big bat, will now dig in. San Diego looking to stay alive. One out here in the ninth. BYU's up seven. And Kevin Sim on a two for four night. Double and a run in the first, and a double and a run in the third. A single and a run in the third, and a strikeout and a flyout the rest of his night. Two for four. Side kicks and fires. A grounder to Deming. What a stab. He'll throw to second. They don't get it as the throw bounces out of the glove of the second baseman, Pratt. Deming did well to handle it, and he's up a little slowly. Does get up. Saves a run. Had that gotten through, you could have seen Mydroth coming around to score. So the hot shot was snagged, but then the throw was low and skipped to Pratt. The ball then skipped out of his glove. And its base is loaded with one out here in the top of the ninth. Things get a little more interesting as Kevin Sim reaches on what will be the infield single. Peraza goes to second, Mydroth at third. And Caleb Ricketts who in his last at-bat scored the last run for San Diego on a solo home run to right. It was in the eighth inning, led off the eighth. Made the score 11-4. to That's where we stand now in the ninth. BYU work to be done to get, rid, uh, to get this one sealed. 11-4. to And the 1-0 is taken for one and one. Sy Nielsen's breaking ball checks in at 84 miles per hour and Drops in four, strike one. Count even, one out, and bases loaded for San Diego. Top nine, and BYU with a seven-run lead to work with. And that'll be a bouncer foul down the third baseline. Count goes to one and two. So Sy in much better shape here with Ricketts behind in the count. Again, double play ends the game. And a strikeout would take the sack fly out of play. Runners on third, less than two outs. San Diego three for five with RBI opportunities tonight. The one-two. Side kicks and fires, and that's fouled. Back to the screen. There's some dribbles to the backstop. A 
We'll see what side does with the 1-2 here. The sacks are stacked with Toreros in the top of the ninth, 11-4 the score. Setting up outside is Reuter. And that's a swing and a miss, the slider by Cy. And that's two gone. Big out for BYU, and Cy's got his second strikeout of the inning. He led off the inning with a strikeout of Worthington. Then it was a double, a walk, and a single to load the bases before the strikeout of Caleb Ricketts. Jack Costello, due up. Lefty on the hill, righty in the box. We'll call that slider from Cy a slider for the strikeout. Empty count, two out, and the base is loaded for Jack Costello. Costello, a one for three night with a hit by pitch also. His last two at-bats, ground out and fly out. And that's lifted in the air to the gap in right. And it's going to get down and bounce to the wall. One will score. Two will score. Rounding third and coming around to score. The bases are clear with Sim preceded by Peraza and Mydroth. And it is a bases clearing, bases loaded double for Jack Costello. And it's gone from 11-4 to to 11-7 with two out. Jack Costello doubling to the gap in right and brings home all three off the base pass. Mydroth, Peraza, and Sim. Bases loaded, three RBI double. And that seven-run lead for BYU is coming in most handy. The Cougs just one out away, but the Toreros have made it interesting. And again, this now bears resemblance to the games played last year in San Diego and the runs just kept on coming. And no game was ever totally secure at Fowler Park. So three score on the double by Costello. And after BYU went up by a score of 11-3, to three, the Toreros have scored the last four in this game. A solo home run by Ricketts in the eighth and a three-run double by Costello in the ninth. BYU's 14 hits have stood up for 11 runs, and they have a four-run lead now with a pinch hitter coming to the plate in Thomas Rollauer. And rollauer has got some good numbers in only four at-bats, two hits, and a couple of runs scored. Only his seventh game played this year and only his fifth at-bat of the year. One on. That'll be a grounder to Pratt. He'll handle, fire to first. The game is over. So San Diego made it a little bit interesting in the ninth. But the Cougars finish off a four-run win by a score of 11-7. On the ground out, 4-3 by Rollauer. As the Cougs take the first of three against San Diego, open the series with an 11-7 win here at Miller Park. Postgame coverage begins after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.